Hello guys, and welcome to something completely different. Today, plans have been thrown up in the air. I'm normally sitting here saying, welcome to the Claret Lounge. Today, it's not the Claret Lounge. Um, we're on our way to um, the Cotswolds today. Uh, we're going to the Cotswolds Wildlife Park and Gardens today. Um, and it basically seems to be our first ever sort of, I don't know, uh, co-content with my partner. So, Dave's and Jordan's Adventures, I don't know, something like that. We get on to go along. Um, and we're going to see some animals and explore the area today. So yeah, I'll give you like, guys like, a tour of the area we're going to today. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, we just arrived at the Wildlife Park and in Cotswolds. Um, hey, it's lovely, actually lovely. And it was today it cost us uh, £16 each for entry fee. Um, free parking, so that's always good. Um, but yeah. Um, we're about to go see, see the camels. Well, just in front of us, right? Uh, obviously, you can't see the things are very blurry. That's here, you're right in front of us. Um, so, yeah. Oh. We'll get a bit closer now, so I'll give a bit, bit, bit of a picture. Here's a train there, though. Yeah. The train. It's a proper train. See? We're this? going on the proper train. <laughs> on the train. <laughs> I can't see it, they're looking camels. Look how close you can get to the camels. That's mad. Oh, I'm really excited. How big are they are as well? Fuck. I probably shouldn't be swearing these sort of things, but never mind. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the camels. And it's literally just way into the park as well. It's amazing. <laughs> That is amazing. Miles. Pretty cool. Miles. This is quite mad because you get very close to fucking. Oh, I keep swearing. I should swear. You get very close to like these animals here. Look at Look the baby rhino. The baby rhino. It's so cute. Oh, we're going to wait, baby. We might see that in my picture. But yeah, this is amazing. But what it is and that, like what price you paid today is, is amazing because um, it's like 16 quid and you get a very good view and you're very close. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's amazing. Like, I don't think it'd be like this. this is mad. And it's like, and it's like literally free roam as well for all the animals, really, because they've got a large area they can, they can sort of free roam in. So that's really good. Um, so it's a little bit closer, so a bit, bit, bit of picture, a bit of video, really quickly. Um, but. It is mad. These are white rhinos. Um, you see, you got a baby one, I guess that is, and maybe a parent's one there as well. Um, what's crazy, really? Is that how close we are from it, really? I was in the bit there, guys, a bit ago. But that's how far they are away, but they're not far away at all. Babe, this is amazing. It's like, you can see, a massive area as well over here. Uh, where they get all the area they can explore. It's massive, there's a few more over there. I think there's a one, two, three over there, I can see. So a massive area, and a few, two over here. So it's five, five rhino, rhinos, so very good first, first, yeah, first sort of court so far of this place. Very good. Love, we just found a lovely red panda. Let's explore this little area. So cute. And like, you get so close to these animals, it's mad. See, just in a tree in front of us, that's the and beautiful. And running around on the floor. Hey, yeah, it's a lovely area to run around in. Um, I can't see it no more, but yeah. It's crazy how close you get to it, it's mad. Oh. There it is. <laughs> mad. So, in the reptile house, can you see this little crocodile dude? Oh, he's cold. Yeah. He's in. Oh, yeah. If you zoom in, you can see him later. There we are. There it's a, it's he is. It's a Chinese crocodile lizard. That's so crazy. It eats insects and it causes vertebrates. Like it. it. I like it, my think it's cool. Black tree monitor. Where? Oh gosh. <laughs> Where? Look at his nail! Oh wow. Why have I never seen one of these before? 
Dave has jumped out of his skin numerous times since we've been in here. <laughs> What's that? Oh. oh, there he is. There he is. And he's from South South Eastern United States. It's mm. cool. I don't think he's playing. He looks a little bit annoyed. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Quite a big area, is it? Hey, mate, weird. talk slivering. Huh? <laughs> talk parcel time. <laughs> what? Get him to come out. Two here. Yeah, they're freaky. I'm not a fan of snakes, oh. to be fair. Let's, let's, let's keep going. I am it? enjoying how many different things there are. you got um, iguanas here. Oh, over the back, having a chill. And look at the baby one Just like. <laughs> Just slightly jealous of these guys because we woke up at half past five this morning to come here, so always good. you know, always good. What's in there? I don't know. Iguana. No idea. If you spot it, oh, there he is! There he is! Oh, what is him? I love how excited Dave gets when he sees an animal. <laughs> oh, when Dave manages to spot an animal, he gets so excited. I love it. What is it? Is it that? Viper. Shush. Are they poisonous? I don't know. I would never see that. That's stuff. Oh, no. Oh, in Thailand. Oh. Uh, it's a pet. These are pet vipers. And... Pit. Pit vipers. Oh, pit vipers. Sorry. <laughs> Dear me. Pet viper. Never heard that one before. Oh, where are we now? Right, okay. Another thing that I thought is pretty amazing is that you can actually bring your dogs to this wildlife park. People have bought dogs, pet dogs. It's a caiman. Are you sure? What's his name? No, that is it. <laughs> no! He is chilling and I like it. Though I don't really want to make a very interesting story. The lady just told us that she was actually fishing. Oh, turn the camera around and talk to it. <gasps> what is that? That's my hand. Apologies. Very interesting story a lady just told us. Look how far he has to duck to get the camera in me. <laughs> um, yeah, so she was actually fishing in the Amazon and caught one of these. I don't think so. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. See that little fruit bat? Oh my god. Oh, that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen them this active. Oh, oh gosh. They are so fast. Hey guys, we've got a little map here of the um, wildlife park gardens here in Cotswolds. Uh, so you go, just put it back here, um, just there. Water in the area is quite big, really. Um, so, yeah. Where are we going now? Cats. We're going to the train station. We're going to the train station. Perfect. Let's go. The, here is amazing. You get so close to all the animals and the creatures. Um, we just seen like this sort of bird bit of it. We can get close to owls. Right, right in front of me, we've got um, vultures. Um, like I said, <laughs> um, it's amazing. Still in, in, in sort of the birds area. There's, there's lots of owls here, and these are probably the easiest ones to sort of film. So, what are these called? <laughs> Bar 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 owls. Oh. Um, but yeah, these are probably the easier owls to sort of film because of the light and everything. They have a little train here so we can go, go around the um, park with. Um, I'll try to film a little bit. I'm, there's a few kids around, so it might be a bit harder. But I will try and film a little bit of it. Um, so yeah. Here comes a nice little train. Just now on the, the train, um, it cost three pounds, the two pounds for adults, and it was one pound for children, and under three they're free. Just a good price. Um, 
she just wants to go around the park because she doesn't have to see it, really. Um, yeah. It's about to go dark, we're about to go in the tunnel. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> See, I was very excited with the the Oh, babe. It's on, babe. We've got some um, creatures over here. Creatures. Some creatures. Um, some goats here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see some goats. Oh, they get, they get so close to these things here as well. It's amazing. And like I said, you bring your dogs here as well. It's pretty cool. Thing. Over there, the cafe over there, guys. We're gonna eat fairly rice, I think. Um, nice. I am filming. What animals are they? Um, Flamingos? Are no. No? It's birds. Ostriches? Pelicans, uh, maybe. Pelicans? We will find out Pelicans. soon. Pelicans. <laughs> so, who's coming through to the zebras? Um, you can see. And you got a little ones there, a big one there as well. Not bad, for like, um, for like uh, two quid to get to all around here, not bad. Um, like I say, great. Whatever it is. Um, what, a giraffe? What's a giraffe? I'm very excited. <laughs> just over here. Um, the, it is over here, so we've got his head straight, and got the rhinos over here somewhere. Just the background over there, obviously, we talked about earlier on the vlog. Um, but just in front of us right now, you can see the giraffes coming right into the picture right now. Um, but it's a very nice train ride, it's about quite slow. Um, so, yeah, not too fast, not too slow. It's quite a nice pace. Um, everything's a good time so far. Um, we can get so close to the giraffes. You see, they're coming right now, just here. It's amazing. Like, actually, you get so close to these, all these animals here. Earlier, we had the camels earlier. At the start of the vlog, we've got sort of camels just over here. There you go. They said, they said, and they are really carrots. I guess the, I guess the penguins are over there, I'm guessing. I'm assuming so. Look. Actually, I think that's the lions. Oh, lions, is it? They come just there. A lot of people saying hello. Um, but yeah, it's very, that's very nice. It's very good. Um, uh, you see, I try to get the rhinos. Mad, absolutely mad. You're waving, hello. People are waving. What are these, maybe? Oh, they're like kangaroos. Look at that. Find yourself, though, poor, poor guy. Actually, really good train ride so far. Um, we need the owls, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. But for a good price as well, for two quid. Quick one. Half minute round the block. But yeah, good stuff. Here, seeing some more. It's called birds, really. Um, we've got some spoon bear. Look at these little ones, though. Look at the legs on that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, a little spoon, a little drink, you know, just chilling out. Let's see all the information here, guys. Want a little look? Um, a spoonbill, swamp hen, egrets, and you've got a wig, wig on, heron, <laughs> say that again. stork, <laughs> and a chow. <laughs> Wrong prodigies. Found the penguins, and Jordan is very excited. Jordan, you very excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Here they, here they are. You got some. Look in the water. Look in the water. All right. Okay. You see. We just got some in the water. He's on the <laughs> you see, it's a nice big area for them as well. Very impressive for the areas they have actually here. Um, and I think you can actually feed, I think in certain price you can feed the um, penguins as well. 
So, yeah, good. You get opportunities where you can feed sort of animals and the meerkats and the penguins. I think for like adults it's like sixty odd pounds. Like we could be wrong, shit, they're playing, but what's what we're going to earlier? But that's the price I saw, I think. Um, you can see that there's a guy trying to feed them as well. Um, yeah, very impressive. Very good day so far. You got you got lots of different sort of birds here. You know, you got like an orange sort of there, and one right up here next to me here. Hi, right, Brian. Um, very very interesting stuff. So here's all the information here, guys. As well, want to quick read. Just pause the video. Um, there we go. Dad, how close you can get to the animals here? What's it called? What's it called, babe? Prairie dogs. Look, prairie dogs. Look how cute they are. Okay, you know, they're eating some vegetables there. Eh? Come go. Go on, son. Oh, look how they see it. <laughs> they get so sweet. <laughs> so cute. Look at them. It's amazing. Isn't it? Even for like adults, you get so close to them. The kids get so close to them. It's amazing. They normally get experience, you know. We are now at the Madagascar walkthrough. I have a little chat with you. Um, man, we had a little chat about zookeeper. what to do. What zookeeper? Sorry, that's the word for it. <laughs> he tells us what to do and what not to do. Well, no food allowed here, really, because they might make your food back, me. So, um, <laughs> they said Miss Pringles. So, yeah. No. Oh, here we are. Um, some. Uh, Mr. Sun. What's it called? Uh, this is a. Uh, I don't know what this is. We've got Limars. Lamars, right. ducks, all different Lamars here. Yeah. Yeah. Lemurs, sorry, Lamars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's a black and white one, is there not? What, that's like, it's not there. Down there, baby, what's sneaking over here? Okay. Yeah, so, I think I just said Lemar, it's a single Lemar. <laughs> not Lamar. Oh, I'm getting it all wrong, I'm getting it all wrong, I'm getting it all wrong. They start singing, they start singing. Yeah, you hear a little guy, Lemurs. No. I've got a little bird down there eating random stuff. Hope it. Um, they apparently had a dinner about half an hour ago, so yeah, we'll chill out. We are now at the tropical house. Um, it's time to come around a bit. In front of us, we've got some lovely birds. These guys are amazing. Look how close they are. Amazing. And they've got, look at, look at these guys, the cameras. The tiniest orange bird. Right there. Down here, a second ago. I don't know where he's gone. There's one over there. flying around. Um, and in, in here, they're above our heads as well. So it's been quite interesting because um, well, it's very nice. It's like how open this planet is as well. It's good visitors to come around. You actually get a good, like, see the birds, what colours they are. And it's, it is amazing. If you see what's incredible. Um, Really, he's amazing. And you know, it, in advance is only 16 quid, so it's not a bad price for a day out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but there we go, look at that. I'm literally right in front of it. Not zooming in. No, I'm not even zooming in at all. Um, sorry, that's how close it is. Um, so yeah, we've got look at the quick, quick look at this and um, all the information here, guys. So you can read all that information here. Um, You've got a few fruit bats, you've got pigeons, doves, partridges, silver teals, um, all these lovely different animals, birds, you call them, I guess. Um, and even that's like, a nest here and everything where they go on. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. We're still in the tropical house, it's too early, I think anything else. A little, um, I don't know what he is. A bit of lunch he is, bless him. Um, yeah. It's like a giant mouse. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cute. You want to film, mate? There you go. Oh. We call him Harry. 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 Let's keep it a bit of dinner. Yeah, good, nice, nice area. Just made it to the giraffe area. And, uh, you see? I don't think I've ever seen a giraffe laid out. What is that? I love them so much. Can we go up there? Yeah. And you, and, and go up, you, you have to go up here. Um, and we'll walk. Yeah, pretty cool. 
made it to the I guess, higher ground area of the giraffe area and the giraffe is just over there a little chill <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah there is a bit of it oh shit there he is a little chill phone's upside down but yeah there we go it's a zebra area um and it's quite a nice big area once again uh, but, uh, so all right somewhere early on the vlog um if you can see in front of me got two got two here two zebras here and one in the background over there um and the area where they can explore too so it's it's good very good it's a very open space and just but like behind me again you've got the um right run here um but yeah and this, you can probably see the background here a very nice looking house um but yeah amazing it's been an amazing day okay, here we go anybody know what this is this is a uh, some sort of bird we have no idea cross between a tiger and a bird and a chicken and a chicken so any guesses guys pause in the post look at this creature <laughs> look at it Sure a tapu. Tapu? Yeah. Yeah. This area, this area, you've got so many different things here, like birds, you had wolves, um, ugh. uh, wolves, everything you think of. I think over there, the pelicans, are the pelicans over there? Pelicans, yeah. Did you see over here? Um, flamingos. Yeah, pelicans over there. One minute, just to zoom in a bit. There we go, pelicans over there. But it's got so many different sort of animals, it's crazy. Absolutely, it's so big. So yeah, big. So big. Like. Oh, look. There's animals. So, over here we've got some more animals over here. But I think. A bird? Is that a bird? Um, oh, it's mad. It's so, it's so massive. And for 16 quid in for pre advanced booking, it's an absolute bargain. Because you go anywhere like Cock to the Zoo, it's like £35 per adult. Crazy. Very good price. Very good price. No. Here you go, we're, we're in the farmyard bit now, and I can't show you too much because there's a lot of kids around. But um, chickens chicken. over here, there are look, there's goats, there's, there's quite a lot of areas where you get you've got bunnies, you've got mice, rats. Um, over there, you get to see goats, um, and nice. goats are actually just hanging out with the kids, which is very weird. But I can't really record there because there's a lot of kids around, so um. You actually stroke the goats as well, it's quite yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, so this is the farm area for more like the you know, like kids to have come and get a bit more close contact with them really, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Goat area, okay, it's like a farm area, but this is where the goat area is. I can film it because there's not much kids around right now. Um, this is where... And Jordan Chan's track today. Um, Oh yeah. Hello guys, it's the day after we went to the uh, Cotswolds uh, Wildlife Park. Jordan's here as well, just, we're just driving home now. Um, so we've got to quickly have a little review of it, because look, when you go there and you think, oh, it's fantastic, 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 fantastic. It actually was a really good day. Um, uh, for me, if you've got children, uh, if you're younger, like, younger, like teenagers, I think, um, it's a great day out. Also, if maybe if you have a family member in a wheelchair, uh, the whole thing, or push chairs, it's all accessible for them as well. Um, I liked that the fences were low so the little kids could still see everything. Yeah. That was nice. Um, and I think it's a great price. Pound in advance is yeah, a what, £1.50 discount. Um, it doesn't sound a lot, but you know, it, it helps us save pennies, doesn't it? So, and most zoos you're looking at a lot more. A lot more money. Um, you've got lots of food choices as well. Um, yeah, I mean, relatively medium price. I wouldn't say it's the most expensive place I've ever been to, but the, it wasn't cheap either. Aye, it, I think it was what you expect. I think it was what you would expect to pay. Yeah. You know, what you'd expect. I, I think, for, what's this roll? It's 4 50 4 50 4 yeah. sausage roll. So it's a bit pricey, but we've had a pat lunch for what we did. Um, Loads of picnic areas. Yeah, and it's in the shade and the grass. I know this time of year it's probably a bit muddy, so but it's, it's still the tables in areas, tables right next to the draft area. Um, so it's, 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 the surroundings are so beautiful. Um, so it's a really good day. We had lots of fun, even for adults ourselves. We, you know, we had a great day, um, and it's, it's, it's nice to be so close. And lots of animals are not behind the cages, like you know, 
they're, out there, they're in a the little the, the areas where they got a little bit of some fencing around them, but you get a great view, like Jordan said a minute ago. Um, if you had a rate, it, a rate it out of 10, Jordan, what do you give it? Oh, I don't know. At the high end, is it the best zoo I've ever been to so far? Possibly up there. I'd say like eight or nine. I mean, it was best views I've ever had, and the animals were really cool. There was a lot of birds. A lot of birds. But it, it was really cool. I'm going really to I'm gonna do, do, do the unusual thing here and go 10. That's because I think the price. I've got to challenge that. I've got to find somewhere else. I to know. Challenge that. I think the price is, is, is a good value. I think um, the train ride is good value. Two pound and I think one pound for kids, and you get a great view of the whole thing. Um, I think it's accessible for everybody. You take your dog along as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we saw a lot of dogs, and he, he didn't see much like you know yapping going on or everyone, everyone had the dog on the lead and things like that. So it's safe as well. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good, a good day out and good at ten, um, and it's in the Cotswold, so it's not too far from Essex. If you live around that area, but if you live in the uh, the Cotswold area, check it out. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you soon. Peace out. See you later. Bye.